so auditory pathway is done all of you know how the impulse but any how the how the sound wave goes and how it uh, goes in the external ears and it vibrates the tympanic membrane then the vibrations are transport transferred to the malleus incus and stapes no mobile phones malleus incus and stapes right ठीक है वहां से थ्रू द स्टेपीज ऑफ फ्रूट प्लेट इट विल गो टू ओवल विंडो एंड देन द बेसलर मैमब्रेन विल वाइब्रेट राइट एंड इन देयर इज बैंडिंग ऑफ द हेयर सेल्स और स्टीरियोसिलिया इन ठीक है देयर इज बैंडिंग ऑफ द स्टीरियोसिलिया एंड दिस विल कॉज व्हाट जनरेशन ऑफ एक्शन पोटेंशियल राइट एंड द इंपल्स विल बी ट्रांसफर टू द ऑडिटरी नर्व टू द ऑडिटरी पाथवे एंड टू द cerebral cortex that is auditory cortex and yahan pe in the auditory cortex there is process of the information and then you will look to understand that the what type of sound and what is you are listening right so this is the ki ki kaise hota hai theek hai so in today's class we will study about neural processing of the auditory information right तो न्यूरल प्रोसेसिंग में क्या होता है वन इज दोडिंग ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी तो वॉट एवर यू आर लिस्निंग हाउ द साउंड वेव आर प्रोसेस जो भी आप सुन रहे हो तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज वॉट एनकोडिंग ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी और पिच ऑफ साउंड राइट नाउ सेकेंड इज एनकोडिंग ऑफ इंटेंसिटी और लाउडनेस तो यू ऑल्सो एनकोड की वॉट टाइप ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी यू आर लिस्निंग यू आर लिस्निंग लो फ्रीक्वेंसी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी और यू आर लिस्निंग हाउ हाउ मच लाउड द साउंड वेव इज राइट and the feature detection is also that which type of sound wave it is and localization of sound in space that from where the sound is coming so you localize the sound wave so all these things are processed in your uh, through the auditory pathway in the cerebral cortex right all these auditory informations are processed right so first is the frequency coding so frequency coding kya hota hai the uh, kaise hota hai the basilar membrane of the cochlear duct is stiff normally it is stiff and narrow close to the oval window and it becomes wider and more flexible you can see in this diagram yahan pe it is yahan pe upar you can see upar it is stiff and narrow and jaise it distal jati hai to it becomes more flexible near the hallucotrema at the distal end right it becomes more flexible that means it vibrate at very low frequency also right so if so what happens the frequency of the imposed sound wave it determine the displacement of the wave uh, of the basilar membrane ki kitna frequency high frequency aa rahi hai to kahan pe basilar membrane will be displaced low frequency aa rahi hai to kahan pe basilar membrane will be displaced right so yahan pe kya hota hai jo high frequency sound wave hoti hai it displaces the uh, basilar membrane closer to the stapes matlab ki near the base बेस के पास में मेनली आई टोल्ड यू इन द लास्ट क्लास की जो बेस होता है उसके पास में मेनली हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी साउंड वेव होती है बताया था ना लास्ट क्लास में तो वो इसीलिए ही होती है क्योंकि नियर द बेस द बेसलर मैमिन स्टेप राइट इट इज स्टेप ठीक है तो यहाँ पे इट इज आई नियर द हेलीकोट रीमा नियर द हेलीकोट रीमा इट डिस्प्लेसिस जो लोअर फ्रीक्वेंसी है लोअर फ्रीक्वेंसी है वो डिस्प्लेस करती है क्लोजर टू द डिस्टल एंड राइट So in this diagram, you can see. So the localization of hair cells on the membrane creates a code that the brain translates about the pitch of the sound. So ultimately, what is happening? The frequency is localizing. Is localizing low frequencies towards the apex or helicotrema or distal side, and the high frequencies towards the base or towards the oval window. So वहाँ के जो जब high frequency आ रही है तो जो hair cells हैं वो vibrate हो रहे हैं towards the Towards the, uh, they are encoding the, they are transferring the information towards the base. Or when low frequency are here, so there is information is transferred towards the apex of the cochlear membrane. So ultimately, in this manner, me, the information that is transferred to the brain, the amplitude is signaled by the degree of displacement and coded in the action potential frequency generated in the neuro sensory neuron. Right? So you can see in this diagram. यहाँ पे ये 400 हंड्रेड हर्ट एंड सिक्सटीन ये देर इज फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड मोशन जब हायर जब हायर जब लो फ्रीक्वेंसी है हंड्रेड हर्ट ऊपर इन हंड्रेड हर्ट तो इट इज द वेव इज वाइब्रेशन इज मोर टू वर्ड्स दी 
more towards the distal line. Whenever it's 400 hertz, it's a little bit in between, 1600 or so. Ultimately, as the as the frequency is increasing, so here the high frequency clear the vibration of the basilar membrane will be towards the oval, right? Now next is encoding of intensity or loudness of the sound. So it occurs at level of cochlear nerve fiber. Intensity increase by increase in frequency of firing of an artery nerve fiber. Okay, agar suppose more of the loud sound sound aayegi, so the artery nerve fiber hai, they will fire at higher at uh, higher frequency, right? And there is increase in the number of nerve fibers stimulated. More number of fiber will be stimulated if the loud sound is coming, and there is stimulation of inner hair cells. ठीक है, so this will cause inner hair cells will also be stimulated. Normally it is by outer hair cells, right? So this will cause what? High loudness to determine the loudness of the sound, right? Now next is feature detection. So high auditory center respond to particular feature of sound stimuli. So you determine that which type of sound it is. So हर एक की sound is different. Everybody has Different sound. So ultimately, it is determined by what auditory cortex. It is determined by what auditory cortex that which sound it is. So this this is what feature detection. You determine that this is uh, suppose if I am speaking, then you can determine that this is my sound. You are deter determining my sound. If your friend is speaking, you determine their sound also. This, this is what feature detection. So this is with the help of what auditory cortex, right? Now next is localization of sound. So all of you know that ultimately sound wave, you can localize the sound wave. So I can localize that from where the sound is coming. The two girls are talking. I can lo localize the sound that they are talking. They are talking right now also. You two, I am saying to you, the last two girls. Baatein mat karo. Okay, so ultimately what is happening, this is this was what, this was localization of sound wave. Initially they talk, my uh, brain, my auditory cortex just that the sound is coming from this side. I saw them and ultimately they were caught. I can see you also, that from where the sound is coming, right? So the localization of sound source is an integrative task and it requires simultaneous Input from both here. So it's really clear. Both of us need input. There is simultaneous input. Since the output of the cochlear nuclei is it cross over from each side, the cortex receives auditory input from both here. ठीक है? So there is crossing. क्योंकि ना all of you know in the auditory pathway there is crossing of the fiber. I told you when when I show you the auditory pathway, there is crossing of the fiber at all. लगभग सभी लेवल पे जरूरत क्रॉसिंग, तो फॉर दैट, फॉर दैट तू यू रिक्वायर दी साउंड वेव तू कम फ्रॉम बोथ हियर तू लोकलाइज़ दी साउंड वेव, राइट? तो सिंस अनलेस द साउंड इज़ कमिंग डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम फ्रंट और फॉलोइंग इन इक्वल पाथ, द साउंड विल नॉट रीच बोथ हियर साइमलटेनियसली if the sound is coming directly from the from the front, एकदम सामने से अगर sound is आ रही है, तो दोनों में equal it will take equal time. So I can localize the sound is coming from front of me. But if the sound is coming from थोड़ा सा इधर उधर से भी आ रही है, तो I can there will be different amplitude that is coming from this ear, and there will be different amplitude that is coming to this ear. So I can localize the sound that the sound is coming from with ear because there is difference in what difference in amplitude so I can localize the sound right <coughs> so the brain uses time phase and amplitude difference between the input from each ear to compute the sound sources right so ultimately brain kya kar raha hai it is using time that yaha se sound anime it will require less time agar yaha se sound is coming to this ear it will require more time there is phase difference also and there is difference in amplitude also because here the amplitude will be more and here the amplitude will be 
less if the sound wave is coming if the suppose they are uh, making noise so the amplitude that is coming to me this year this year is more as compared to this year the time is also more there is also phase difference be between the two sound waves right so uh, so ultimately these all things are computed in your brain and your brain determines the localization of sound right had or ear movement it can refine the location and enhance the cortex and derive a 3d representation of the sound waves so ultimately care this had rotation and ear rotation also to localize more sound you your pinna they sometimes they move mainly in animal mein bhi hota hai that jo pinna hote hain there is movement of pinna in animal to collect the sound wave from where it is coming right so you can see in this diagram if the sound this is a sound source right isme it is it require less time isme it will require more time theek hai and ear may be and also what if the odor is coming if the smell is coming so you can localize the odor also na from where it is coming so if the odor is coming so it will require less time and it will require more time so ultimately the signal is processed into the brain theek hai mainly jo hai it will theek hai so it will process into the brain and you just the information right now next is what defects of hearing the so defects of hearing mainly काफी कुछ I told you in the in your practical class जब आपका practical class हुआ है तो उसमें मैंने आपको बता दिया है mainly defects of hearing क्या क्या होता है but in theory also we will discuss right so the auditory system it operates over a wider range of frequency all of you know that it operates at 20 to 20 किलो हर्ट है ना mainly जो sound intensity है that is 100 डेसिबल मैक्सिमम ठीक है 100 डेसिबल मैक्सिमम है ठीक है और मेनली जो आप सुनते हो तो 60, 60 इज गुड फॉर यू ठीक है सो द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग इट अलाउ सिलेक्टिव एक्सट्रेक्शन ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट सिग्नल फ्रॉम अ हाई लेवल ऑफ बैकग्राउंड नॉइज तो आपका जो ब्रेन है इट अलाउ द सिलेक्टिव इंफॉर्मेशन ठीक है टू योर ब्रेन फ्रॉम ऑल द बैकग्राउंड नॉइज ठीक है इफ सपोज इफ If you are sitting there, बातें मत करो और वो जो पीछे ठीक है इफ यू आर सिटिंग देर पीछे से नॉइज इज कमिंग बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लसन मी दैन योर ब्रेन विल ट्राई टू अवॉइड जो पीछे का बैकग्राउंड नॉइज है इट विल ट्राई टू अवॉइड एंड इट विल ट्राई टू लसन माई साउंड राइट तो अल्टीमेटली इट योर ब्रेन इट ट्राई टू लसन द सिलेक्टिव इंफॉर्मेशन राइट सो विथ नॉर्मल एजिंग वॉट हैपन्स देयर इज सम नॉर्मलाइजिंग के साथ कुछ ना कुछ कान में सुनने में प्रॉब्लम होती है ना तो देर इज डिफेक्ट है ना एंड डिफेक्ट टू द वेस्टिबुलर इन ऑडिटरी सिस्टम सो देर इज डिटेरियोरेशन इन द वेस्टिबुलर इन एंड ऑडिटरी सिस्टम विथ एजिंग सो देर आर मेनली टू ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज ऑफ केयरिंग लॉस एट आई टोल्ड यू इन योर प्रैक्टिकल क्लास दीज आर फर्स्ट इज वॉट फर्स्ट इज आई टोल्ड यू इन योर प्रैक्टिकल क्लासेस फर्स्ट इज कौन कौन से दो हियरिंग लॉस होती है इट इज कंडक्टिव हियरिंग लॉस एंड सेंसर न्यूरल हियरिंग लॉस ठीक है तो वट इज कंडक्टिव हियरिंग लॉस वेन एवर इज इम्पेयरमेंट ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ साउंड साउंड एनर्जी टू द इनर ईयर ठीक है तो वेन एवर डर इज डिफेक्ट इन द एक्सटर्नल ईयर डर इज डिफेक्ट इन द इंटरनल ईयर सो अल्टीमेटली योर द इन्फॉर्मेशन इज नॉट नॉट गोइंग टू द इनर ईयर थ्रू द एयर दिस इज वॉट कंडक्टिव हियरिंग लॉस Now next is what sensory neural hearing loss. So sensory neural hearing loss का होता है whenever there is damage to the cochlea or internal ear, or whenever there is any damage to the auditory pathway. ठीक है जो भी ऊपर जो pathway जा रहा है उसमें if there is damage, uh, then there is there will be what which type of hearing loss? Sensory neural hearing loss. So there are two type of hearing loss. One is conductive hearing loss. Second one is what? Sensory neural hearing loss. <coughs> so next is applied of aspect one is noise in masking hearing loss in deafness and second one is the third one is hearing loss so what is noise it is an a periodic complex sound this is noise so we bahar se complex sound is coming this is noise now next is masking masking is what presence of one type of sound decreases the ability to hear another type of sound so ultimately jo one type of sound hai ya fir jo noise sound hai 
it is masking the sound that you want to listen so this is what masking so you cannot listen the another sound that you want to listen right now next is what hearing loss hearing loss is impairment of hearing theek hai it can be mild to mild moderate severe or profound right now deafness is little or no hearing loss at all so ultimately this is what deafness so types of hearing loss that i told you this one is conductive second one is sensory sensory hearing and third one is mixed so what is mixed hearing loss if the person is having both type of hearing loss it is conductive and sensory neural and this is called as what mixed hearing loss right so conductive hearing loss as i told you whenever there is problem for the sound wave to travel from the external ear to the inner ear theek hai to the cochlea then this is what conductive hearing loss it can be partial it can never be complete theek hai conductive hearing loss can never be complete can only be partial now what is the causes theek hai whenever there is obstruction obstruction to the external ear suppose the person is having wax in the external ear theek hai to theek se sunai nahi deta na agar wax hota hai so the, it is causing what the wax is causing what it is causing obstruction of the sound wave to travel to the internal ear so this will cause which type of hearing loss conductive hearing loss but this is what temporary because the wax can be removed but if sometimes obstruction is due to something that that is causing permanent hearing loss and this is what not permanent it is conductive is not always permanent as i told you now next is perforation of tympanic membrane sometimes the tympanic membrane is perforated all of you know understand what is perforation of the tympanic membrane agar sched ho jaye kai bar jaate hain doctor ke paas aapke kaan pe to bolte hain aapke kaan ke parde mein sched ho gaya hai kaan ka parda is what tympanic membrane sched ho gaya hai matlab perforation to kya hoga usse theek se sunai nahi dega to what can be the cause of perforation aapne kaan mein kuch dala you do not have any idea and you can perforate your tympanic membrane so just be aware don't put anything in your ear right your ear your sense organ are very precious every sense organ is very precious even eye ear so you are blessed that you are having all sense organs intact so don't misuse that right now next is otitis media what is otitis media whenever there is word itis come itis that means inflammation and otitis media is middle ear so whenever there is inflammation of the middle ear middle ear mein inflammation kab ho sakta hai when is suppose if you are having cough or cold right if you are having cough or cold to kya hoga gale mein infection hoga zukam khansi hai gale mein infection hoga the infection is transferred to the inter middle ear through your you second tube you second tube will be blocked and the infection it can be transferred to the Middle ear and this will cause what otitis media, and this will cause what retraction of the tympanic membrane, and there will be conductive hearing loss. Now next is disruption or fixation of the ear ossicles. So, if ear ossicles fix हो जाएँ या जब there will be disruption हो जाए तो क्या होगा? There will be hearing loss. ठीक से vibration नहीं पहुँचेगा and there will be hearing loss. Now next is what obstruction of the ear second tube. As I told you, whenever there is obstruction, this will cause retraction of the tympanic membrane and this will cause what? conductive hearing loss right now next is what sensory neural hearing loss so as i told you what is sensory hearing loss whenever there is problem in the cochlea or the auditory pathway then this will cause what this will cause what or this will cause sensory neural hearing loss what now next is causes causes is first is congenital it can be by birth also sensory neural theek hai conductive can never be by birth theek hai but sensory neural is it can be by birth now next is what acquired whenever there is infection impaction of the labyrinth agar andar jo labyrinth hai usme infection ho jayega to this will cause what this will cause uh acquire uh, sensorineural hearing loss now next is what acoustic trauma whenever agar koi injury ho jaye brain uh, injury ho jaye to the inner ear or to kya hoga it will cause sensorineural hearing loss नॉइस ट्रामा बहुत ज्यादा तेज समटाइम साउंड सुन लेते हैं सपोज कहीं पे बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट होता है ठीक है तो कई लोगों के कान में सुनाई देना बंद हो जाता है ना प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है तो व्हाट इज द रीजन ऑफ दैट इट इज नॉइस ट्रामा राइट 
Now next is what ototoxicity. What is ototoxicity? Sometimes the person is on a uh, on ototoxic drug. ठीक है कुछ drugs जो होती हैं these are ototoxic. They damage the uh, they damage the cochlea. ठीक है तो some drugs are ototoxic. So if the person is taking the ototoxic drug, so this will cause what ototoxicity. ठीक है and this will cause what hearing loss. Now next is what acoustic neuroma. So what is acoustic neuroma? It is a brain tumor that is present near the acoustic nerve. ठीक है this is what acoustic neuroma so as the nerve goes to the brain yahan se jayegi yahan se canal ke through par internal acoustic meter se uske through this going to the brain so agar wahan pe agar koi tumor hai so this will cause what injury to the nerve lesion pada hua hai so this will cause and this will cause what hearing loss now next is what systemic disorder like diabetes mellitus or hypertension ठीक है this these can be uh, can also be a cause of sensory neural hearing loss right now what are the characteristic of sensory neural hearing loss it is usually complete if the sensory neural isliye sometimes saansi se kam hota hai to bahut dhyan se rakhna kyunki kya hota hai sometimes sahi cases mein aisa hota hai jisko simple khansi se kam hua aur baad mein kya hota hai unko sunai dena kam ho jata hai band to nahi hota normally but kam ho jata hai ठीक है तो इट इज यू फॉर कंप्लीट नाउ स्पीच डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इज पुअर ठीक है यू कैन नॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेट द स्पीच प्रॉपरली एंड योर हियरिंग लॉस इट मे एक्सीड द सिक्सटी डेसिबल ज्यादा भी हो सकता है नाउ मिक्स हियरिंग लॉस मिक्स हियरिंग लॉस एज आई टोल्ड यू इट हैज बोथ कंडक्टिव एंड सेंसरी न्यूरल टाइप ऑफ हियरिंग लॉस प्रेजेंट इन द सेम ईयर अगर एक ही कान में दोनों है देन इट इज द मिक्स हियरिंग लॉस and the characteristic is uh, characteristic characteristic feature is ear bone gap is present in conductive hearing loss and impairment of bone conduction it indicates the sensory neural hearing loss right now next is tinnitus tinnitus is what ringing sensation in in ear, in, in, in the ear so kai logo ko sometimes the patient complains ki kaan mein kuch ghanti si baj rahi hai aur kaan mein kuch baj raha hai so this is what tinnitus it is what ringing sensation ठीक है तो समटाइम्स अ पेशेंट कंप्लेंस दिस टाइप ऑफ दिस इज कॉल्ड टिनेटर इट इज कॉज्ड बाय व्हाट इरिटेटिव स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ द इनर ईयर और वेस्टिब्यूलर कॉकलियर नर्व समटाइम्स समथिंग इरिटेट्स द इनर ईयर और द नर्व देन दिस विल कॉज व्हाट टिनेटर और रिंगिंग सेंसेशन इन द ईयर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट हियरिंग टेस्ट द हियरिंग टेस्ट इज वन द वन इज द फिंगर फ्रिक्शन टेस्ट दिस इज अ स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट एंड इट इज व्हाट क्विक एंड रफ method in this the patient is asked to close the eye and you will appreciate sound of thumb and index finger that is rub you will rub your thumb and index finger and the sound will be uh and you will uh, the person will appreciate the sound that what the sound is coming right so this is what finger flexion test was test or finger one i one test i told you whisper test whisper test is also in the uh, class ki practice class sometimes you whisper something in your in the page that the subject your patient hear and the subject perceives that what you are whispering so this is what whisper test now next is what voice test so what is voice test koi bhi jo sound hoti hai uski jo tik tik ki awaaz aati hai na so you will uh, ask subject to close the eye aur ek watch aap uske kaan ke paas mein rakhoge and distance to which the sound heard is noted so distance increase karte jaoge and you will note the sound theek hai Now next is tuning fork test. Tuning fork test, as I told you in the class, that you may, mainly you have to take the tuning fork of 256 hertz, and you can take of also 500 and 12 hertz tuning tuning fork uh, tuning fork. But mainly you have to take this type of tuning fork that has the frequency of 256 hertz, and it is used to differentiate between that which type of hearing loss is present. It is whether conductive or sensory neural, right? So as I told you, the test one is one I told you Rennie's test. So Rennie's test, me, what do we do? Who will tell me? Who will tell me what you do in Rennie's test? I told you in the class, practical class. Who will tell me? Who will tell me what is Rennie's test? No one. Practical, me, nahi suna. I gave you the demo also, and I gave. I told you in your practice classes also. Jiska ho gaya, usko bhi nahi pata. 
I know that everybody is not done with the practicals, but some of you are done. So what you have to do, you have to take the tuning fork and you have to vibrate the tuning fork. All of you know how to vibrate the tuning fork. All of you know about that, right? So either you have to hit on your heel of your hand or you can hit on table also. Okay, and then you have to put the जो vibrating जो prongs है tuning fork से उसको पहले तो आपको पीछे mastoid process पे लगाना है पीछे जो उसका जो जो पीछे tail है उसको आपको tuning fork पीछे mastoid process पे लगाना है और subject को पूछना है जब सुनाई देना बंद हो जाए तो उसको क्या करना है उसको finger raise करना है ठीक है तो subject will raise the finger फिर उसके बाद क्या होगा आपको vibrating tuning fork आपको कान के पास में लेके जाना है ठीक है और जब उसको सुनाई देना बंद हो जाए तो सब्जेक्ट विल रेस द फिंगर ठीक है तो दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज नॉर्मली क्या होता है जो उसको बाद में आप कान के पास लेके जाते हो तो उसको सुनाई देता है नॉर्मली व्हाट हैपेंस एयर कंडक्शन इज बेटर देन बोन कंडक्शन ठीक है दिस इज नॉर्मल बिकॉज बाद में तक एयर से द साउंड वेव इज कमिंग एंड इज गोइंग टू द एक्सटर्नल ईयर टू द मिडल ईयर एंड इज रीचिंग टू द इंटरनल ईयर राइट बट If the person is having conductive hearing loss, okay, then there will be what? There will be bone conduction will be better than air conduction. Not this is called as what? Rene, okay, Rene negative. Normally it is Rene positive, okay. Now next is Weber cells. Weber cells. Test is vibrating tuning fork place to board the. It means what? Do you do? Tuning fork to vibrate. Do you? Or you will place the. Tuning fork in the midline. Midline may either you, you can place on glabella, this is glabella, or you can place on vertex. ठीक है on vertex. ठीक है and you will ask the subject that जब आप नहीं देना बंद हो जाए तो you have to raise the finger. ठीक है तो फिर आपको पूछना है कि किस कान में आपको ज़्यादा देर तक नहीं दे रहा देता रहा या दोनों कान में आपको बराबर नहीं दिया ऐसा तो नहीं है कि किसी कान में आपको ज़्यादा देर तक नहीं दे रहा हो या अच्छा ठीक है तो नॉर्मली नॉर्मली व्हाट हैपन साउंड इज हियर हर्ड बोथ इन बोथ हियर इक्वली दिस इज नॉर्मल ठीक है बट क्या होता है कि समटाइम्स इट इट इज एक कान में ज्यादा देर तक नहीं देती है एज कंपेयर टू दूसरी कान में सो वेन एवर देर इज सेंस ड्यूर हियरिंग लॉस साउंड इज लिटरलाइज टूवर्ड्स दी बेटर हियर ठीक है ओपोजिट हैपन फॉर द कंडक्टिव हियरिंग लॉस So conductive hearing loss you just with the help of any sense, but for uh, sensory neural hearing loss you you will go for what Weber cells, right? Now next is what Schaubach cells. Schaubach cells is bone conduction is compared with the examiner. In this it is compared with the examiner, and in this it is presumed that examiner is having a normal hearing. Okay, normal hearing. Okay, there is no hearing loss is present to the examiner. तो so नॉर्मली क्या होता है बोथ हियर इक्वली जैसे सपोज पहले आपने क्या किया ठीक है तो नॉर्मली क्या होता है बोथ हियर इक्वली ठीक है उसको जब सुनाई देना बंद हुआ आपने पहले तो एग्जामिनर पे लगाया ठीक है उसको सुनाई देना बंद हुआ देन यू विल यू विल पुट इन योर ईयर ठीक है नॉर्मली बोथ हियर इक्वली ठीक है बट इफ द कंडक्टिव हियरिंग लॉस इज प्रेजेंट इन द पेशेंट हियर फॉर फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम एंड इफ सेंसरी न्यूरल हियरिंग लॉस इज प्रेजेंट देन Uh, the the doctor hears the tuning fork for longer time. Now, sub audio metric test is also there. First is the measurement of the auditory acuity using audio meter, and second one is the pure tone audio audio metric. That is not at up to you right now. ठीक है अभी आपको इतना ही पता होना चाहिए. ठीक है. So audio metric will be told to you in your ENT classes. मैं आपको बताई थी. That the how the audio metric is done. It's an instrument. It's a proper job. And then you have to know that how you should know how to read the graph also, right? That was for today's class. This done.